Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys didn't check out, my last episode was on the New Year holidays called Ogo Ogo. And today we are going to the Mupa Rice Terraces. And we're running a little bit behind because we had to purchase our e-visas today for Vietnam, which we are kind of behind on that. So I'm a little bit stressed on the turnaround time for that but let's see what happens. I also just wanted to update you guys on a few things and I forgot to mention them in the previous videos. So Anthony and I, like, so we're in off season right now, right? So it's actually raining quite a bit. So it's actually really quiet. We're not experiencing as much of the hustle bustle as we were told. And the other thing is we haven't partied once since we've been here like we've drank at home but we haven't really gone to any clubs or anything and we haven't gone out to drink we've had like a really chill easy going time since we've been here and honestly i love it i love that we haven't really gone out and done much partying and done like many events so we might go out one day before we leave, but we're just like so busy and the time has been going by so fast because there's actually so much to do here. Um, and I have been looking and I have some interviews coming up to work teaching English in Vietnam uh, in the South. And I also have an interview to teach English in Costa Rica. So I'm really excited. So I have an interview today, tomorrow, the following day, and then I have a networking event on Friday. And I'm so excited that I'm pursuing all of these things. This was also my goal is that I, as much as we've been enjoying doing all these adventures and activities, I also wanted to be productive with my time since I'm not working. And so, just trying to figure out the next steps the next chapter in my life has been challenging exciting and really nerve-wracking because i don't know what's gonna happen and it's been a really tough two three months and well it's been a tough like well it's tough for everyone right now right like the economy is shit and money's horrible right now like so I was kind of like, well, if I'm gonna be broke, I might as well be broke in Bali, right? So I'm trying to compensate with that. I'm trying to film for you guys as well and I'm enjoying that so much. So thank you everyone who's been following and enjoying my videos because it's been awesome to have you guys around for these experiences. And yeah, let me know in the comments what, like, what you want me to talk about or what you want me to film more of because it'll really help me gauge my with my audience what you guys are interested in so that is the update on that and so i i don't go farther too too much farther into detail we had our silence day yesterday and it was it's because it's supposed to be a day of reflection i took it kind of seriously and i reflected i journaled and did words of affirmation and i i cried a bit in the morning because you know the silence and just hearing nature was like so beautiful you could nobody was working nobody was talking because it's a day of silence right and i was reflecting on you know just all of the experiences that i've had and all the ups and downs and the wins and the losses i've had to go through to build to be where i am today and in short i just wanted to let you guys know that if you are trying to build your dream and you feel like nothing is working out for you right now i just want you to know you're not alone like this is a very lonely journey to be on i've struggled a lot to self-actualize the fact that i am going to that i'm alone a lot like often and that a lot of people in my life are very transient and accepting that is very difficult so i find myself around people and then not with people and it just 
not being concrete and only I feel like only very transient people understand that struggle <laughs> so it's been challenging but it was a very good way to reflect on the progress I've made and encourage myself not to give up on the things that I want and the point of this is to encourage you as well that if you are going through something or you're trying to build something yourself not to give up on yourself <laughs> because it's it's really it can be really challenging and very lonely and people don't talk about that on social media they want to present a very perfect world and in in retrospect that's not realistic at all and to build the dream life that I am still currently building um, I've had to make some really difficult decisions in my life that um, were just really hard for me so anyway <laughs> uh, thank you guys again for supporting me and um, yeah I'm gonna just end it there because otherwise I'll keep talking and ranting and I want to see these <laughs> rice fields and hopefully it doesn't rain because <laughs> I would like to take some footage before all of that um, happens. So I will see you guys in a bit. Okay, so I finally made it to the rice terrace, but I'm really annoyed because my driver took forever to get here and of course as soon as I got here it's raining. So I'm going to try to enjoy as much as I can. Look at this way. I don't know if you guys can see that. Sick. So it's actually pretty muddy and I probably should have um, worn my sneakers but that's okay. It's pretty cool. I wish it was sunny but you know what? It's okay. It's pretty cool. Hi! I, I couldn't find my uh, friends until now. I don't know if you can see. We came separately, so then uh, they were like, we're going to find a different entrance. And I was like, okay, well, if I find you guys, great. If not, then whatever. But um, yeah, it's nice. I wish, again, it was sunny, but it's so pretty. So nice. Oh, what is this? I wonder what that is. I don't know. This. I should have just learned to be a videographer. That's me. Hello. Okay, so me and Ashley, we were trying to get back on our way to our Airbnb and we're stuck behind, I think it's afraid, I'm not really sure. So now we're literally just like walking to a point where we can just turn around. Yeah, hopefully we will get out soon. <laughs> okay, hi guys. So we got back to our Airbnb and I had to take a shower because we had some questionable stuff thrown on us while we were coming back and we also got some street food so we had some fried chicken because I was craving it 
and now I have my uh, interview for Costa Rica so wish me luck on that I'm so tired I just want to sleep I usually go to bed pretty early here so I'm hoping that it will be a fast interview so I can go to bed so thank you everyone for watching this episode I wish it could have been a little bit sunnier so you guys could have seen I mean the rice fields were beautiful but obviously if it was sunny it would have been nice um, and it rained a little bit, but thankfully it cleared up. So thank God for that. Uh, anyways, thank you guys again for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. So thanks for watching this episode, guys. I <laughs> no, the power just went out again, guys, like crazy. 